How was the girls popping in steam about your exit this bit by Tommy and FG? It's titled Biggest Meat Riding Fan Bases. <laughs> Listen, I've been hearing this term a lot lately. You know, amid the Drake and Kendrick beef, everybody's a glazer, everybody's a meat rider, everybody's buy-ins, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sure. Um, I think there are actual meat riders who go above and beyond to defend their favorite artists to the point where it's blatant, it's embarrassing, and those are the people <laughs> we should be shaming and talking about, okay? Not because one person thinks a song is good or whatever the case, you know? So, <laughs> that's just my opinion, but whatever, do what you want. Anyway, let's see. Um, but what they gotta say about these me Ryan fan bases? Let's watch. I never beat a mom and dad in the heart. I never put my hands on a woman ever, ever, unless she says something about Drake. I'm not a master in a lot of things. I'm not a master at the art the of what? making the most extravagant videos to ever hit YouTube. Not a master at the art of education and being at the top of my class. But one thing I am a master at is me riding. Uh, uh, okay, let me let me rephrase that. But one thing I am a master at is the psychology of me. Okay. That sounds bad. We'll never run out of fan bases that'll lose their life for what they protect, so we hit them back at it with the part two of the biggest meat riding fandoms. And of course, we have to start off with the glaze. What top five you smoking on, Kendrick? This, this is my top five. This is the epitome of a meat rider, okay? This man have not given Drake's nuts a break, a rest in years. This. This is a meat rider. I just watched a, a, a short clip of a video he put up talking about Lil Yachty. Because apparently Lil Yachty came out and he said he don't think Drake won or lost. Which, the delusion. But, uh, look at his face. But, I was like, oh no, Drake need better friends. He need a friend who's going to say, no, you won regardless. He need a friend Who's going to ride with Like, just saying a whole bunch of goofy shit. I'm like, what? <laughs> so, Drake need a whole bunch of yes men around him that lies to him? That's a friend? Like, you ain't making no sense. So, his glazing is like another level to the point where it defies logic. That's the definition of a meat rider. A meat glazing. If you ask me. It's Drake! 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 Aubrey Drake Graham, better known as Drake, has been a staple in the rap game for 15 years. Drake known is worldwide right? as the Aubrey man who came from the trenches, making it out oh, the yeah. hood and starting from the bottom. Is what the Wikipedia page for Kendrick Lamar says. Now, if you're watching this in this special year, the showdown of Drake and Kendrick has officially gone in one. I can confidently anime? say right now, never have I seen a music fan base ever cope this hard with the loss. Like, we yeah, all knew Drake had a lot of beat writers, but oh boy, <laughs> these last couple of weeks have proved it to me. The signs came to me when he had the hard hair. They gotta be biased. This man got this hair no cut, posted it, and all around the world were running to their barber to get every decade there's always a couple of haircuts I that take over seen. like in the 2000s you had cornrows high top fade the shaggy and the drake cut isn't at those levels but it was at the point where there are literal f tutorials on how to get the cut if oh, you're yeah, doing uh... the drake heart cut and are not drake i hate to let What women are you attracting doing this? I have never seen this in real life. I didn't know this was a thing. I'm appalled. Let you down, but you are not pulling with it, bro. There's even a tutorial off his normal hair. I hate to let you down, but you are not pulling with it, bro. There's even a tutorial. Did he say pulling women or pulling with? I, I, did he repeat what I said? off his normal haircut like you mean a drake fade step by step tutorial just go to any barber and ask them for a fade does a drake fade come with a side of teen girls or something you can see so many videos of people getting this haircut still to this day the worst part about this cut is one mistake and your heart goes from looking perfect to looking like the barber was digging in his nose while cutting your hair and i don't know how many ladies are into this cut i feel like it would either be seen as a d rider or cringy or an f boy but who knows maybe i just need to try it out and see the pull Okay. Not to brag, but I've been told my aura is off the charts already. People make a clear path for me on the street when I walk, but <laughs> I keep it hard. Right. Every single time Drake gets criticized, it seems like Drake fans always have an excuse for it. Like when it first got exposed, he was hiding the sun. You had Drake fans going, 
well, well, I mean, he, he was going to show up on eventually. You just had to wait. But they know damn well if any other rapper was hiding their kid, they would be clowning. You acting like he's preparing to tell the world about a hidden project he's been working on for years. It's a kid, bro. And he even denied he had a kid at first. Just wait till little Adonis grows up and realizes his existence happened because of a premature bust. We're going to hear the hardest diss of 2036 when that happens. He might join Kendrick. Or when people bring up the ghostwriter <laughs> thing, Drake fans be going... Well, everyone does it anyway, so what's, what's the problem if he does? It's not even embarrassing to admit you had help writing a song. Everyone needs inspiration from somewhere. So many music artists have all the writers listed because they want the people to get proper credit. And if we want to especially talk about coping, the Drake EDP allegations have proven it. If it was any other rapper and they were accused of texting a 13-year-old girl, I miss you, and taking them out to dinner, they would be trashed out of here. Their label would drop them, the rapper friends would stop talking, Talking to them, everybody would just forget about. Them. But because it's Drakey Snakey, I mean, you know, it's fine. Maybe he's just coaching her on life and whatnot. The biggest face of Drake Glazers by far is DJ Academics. This man is basically his PR team. I know Drake realizes he struck gold when he met DJ Academics and connected with him. But even now, he's saying Drake lost, so maybe we're in the official endgame for Drake after all. He couldn't help but say that. Bro? If he drops a good album, we all gonna forget. Next we got is Ronaldo and Messi. I feel like a lot of Americans or people who don't watch soccer genuinely don't understand how insane the glazing gets. First off, in every professional game stadium, fans start throwing hands at each other as soon as they see the other team's fans. It's common in so many games where just out of nowhere some fans start fighting. And we definitely have the same thing in America for That's sure, except right. instead of fists, we use guns. But it doesn't even come close to how much it happens in soccer stadiums. I'm talking about the police force has to be called in to stop the chaos. But the number Number one, Glazers, of course, are going to be Ronaldo and Messi fans because they're the biggest worldwide. First, if you simply yeah. search Ronaldo fan tattoo or Messi fan tattoo, oh, you'll be surprised to find mine. out there's grown ass men with kids getting full back tattoos of them, forehead tattoos of them, no, eye tattoos. Really there's no world where I'm ever getting a full back tattoo of another man. If that happens, y'all, then I sadly probably switch sides. Sorry, ladies. There's this Messi fan who literally had him sign his back. He went right to a tattoo tattoo store and had them tattoo it on him forever. You would have thought Jesus Christ himself came down and signed his back. People keep tabs on both of them like they're physically living in their body. Like if you go to Messi's wife's Instagram, you got people in there trying to check up on him virtually. Did Messi sleep his eight hours? How's Messi? How's my Messi? Did he take a bath yet? This is a text the mother no, says to her eight-year-old son or daughter. This man does not know. That is you know weird. the reason is at space level heights when you can make a whole career off it. Like, I don't even know a version of Speed anymore who was not glazing Ronaldo. Weird. This man has him tattooed on his arm, and the tattoo at best is, uh... A real tattoo? Questionable. This man is worth multi millions at 19 and hired a Timu tattoo artist. I'll be sending a lawsuit no, immediately if Timu did it. Then, for his very first car, he Ain't decides no to go all out and buy a Ferrari with Ronaldo sticker plastered no, right no on the way. front. There's a lot of things that can ruin a supercar, like dents, scratches, even the occasional car crash. But this has to be the number one way to oh, do it off the job. And when he met Ronaldo, this yeah, is this the face of a man you would have thought just seen heaven's light. <laughs> like, it's gotta be uncomfortable for Sorry, both of them to imagine there's people out there that look at them like religious gods. The craziest I've seen is when Messi won the World Cup and the whole country of Argentina came to the capital to celebrate. Oh I don't see God. a single vacant space available. Apparently over 5 million people were there to celebrate. Do you know how hard it is to get 5 million kids who should be in school and adults who have to work for a living oh, for a whole day to celebrate? Have... And you know for a fact, people who aren't even from Argentina <laughs> showed up because they <laughs> love them that much. Yeah. I could never see this happening in America because we're never even on it's any issue. Argentina. And frankly, if it did happen, it would be target about. practice for some people out there. Let's go out there. Shot instant. We can barely <laughs> even do peaceful protests. Next we got oh, is Justin Bieber. Me. Specifically Justin no. in the early and mid 2010s. Justin Bieber had a grasp on the whole population of women in the world, young or old. Granny's back then was even trying to get some JP. It's weird that no one really questioned the grown ass women obsessed with a teenage boy for some reason. I was in elementary school when he started to blow up and he was low key my competition already. Girls would be talking about how dreamy he is and how cool his shaggy hair was. Meanwhile, I was a Ew. African 
freaking kid with a bus cut my parents forced me to get. I stood no chance. I was really trying to be white back then and get me some shaggy hair, bro. There was a time where 50% of girls had Justin Bieber posters hanged all around their room. And if they didn't, they had some type of Justin paraphernalia around. I don't know who Justin's marketing team was, but they did a damn good job at spreading his image. Even when he started wilding out and doing some villainous activities, oh, so it didn't matter to them. This man cringe. could spit at his fans and they would open a jar and catch the spit truck. and sing the saliva to inject in their future kids' Travis DNA. Guy? Wait, actually, that is something he got glasses. Did for his fans. Yeah, what the spits on you and you're still a fan of him after that, you've completely lost yeah. your mind. Now, I'm not a JB hater, and that's not the point of this. Yeah. Quite the opposite, actually. I was bumping Justin secretly when I was younger. Beauty in a beat was my bro. I just couldn't let other know, because if you got caught listening to some JB back then, dudes immediately would think you're gay and make fun of you. And I do feel bad for him because he was so young in the industry, and word on the street is most likely the diddler got to him, and nobody wants the diddler to get to them. This man would go to hotels, come out, and have the entire street flooded with fans waiting. This is the sh MJ was doing, bro. I don't know a lot of artists right now that even pull crowds like this. And before y'all say, how dare you for me to even compare MJ, MJ definitely won't be top. Don't get it twisted. But I feel like if Justin kept the same momentum of fame forever, then he would definitely be up there. He had these girls passing out at the sight of him, crying as soon as he started singing Baby at the concert. If I was a dad, well, I definitely was not letting my daughter into a Justin Bieber concert. They even be camping outside of his house just to get a picture with him. This is the type of where you immediately should look at and be glad you're not a celebrity. You really wake up every day with zero privacy to do anything. Oh, Next we got his truck. Man. Now before the MAGA, four truck driving, Bud Light drinking, tobacco chewing dick riders come to call me a low snowflake or something, I don't like either parties. Y'all are both cringes. Not to me. Vote for who you want, so I really don't care. But out of all presidents that have ever existed, I've never seen a pull like Trump has on people. I feel like being a Trump supporter isn't even about politics. Anymore. It's like a lifestyle people will flex on other people like a rapper flexing jewelry. You gotta have the MAGA flag up in your room. You gotta be walking around with a mugshot t-shirt. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this does go hard. You gotta put a MAGA sticker on the back of your car. Oh, Maybe yeah, it's because he was a fake figure in pop culture already before, but not even Obama had this. A lot of Trump supporters can't even name why they like his politics. You ask them and they'll go, well, I mean, Joe Biden, freedom, MAGA 2024. And to be fair, that's most people who are voting in general, same with your average Biden fan. But if you're gonna deride someone so hard, you gotta come at me with an essay of facts on why you support them. And some deriders can't accept the fact that Trump is a person who makes mistakes. Oh my They'll describe God, the Trump excuse, presidency time as heaven utopia you have to visit before you die, saying no one was ever arguing and everyone was mostly on good terms. I don't know what time they were living in, but never have the people in the United States ever been on good terms. People since the internet was invented have been arguing about political issues. Gay son or thought daughter. Oh I will God. say the issues are definitely more upfront and widespread because social media and we see it more now. But to act like we never talked about it, <laughs> where were y'all living? Every day Trump was president, I remember people who hated him were crying that they were going to move out the country or to get him removed immediately. And just like every president, he makes mistakes. There hasn't been a single president who hasn't made an insanely f***ed up choice for something. And lastly, we got Travis Scott fans. Now, Travis doesn't have it the worst, but it definitely is up there. Like, when Travis yeah. has a collab with Nike to release some shoes, that on the dot sells out instantly every time. The shoe could be two pieces of lino stuck together and it's still getting sold out. Don't get me wrong, some of the shoes look cool, and I might buy them for the retail price, maybe. But the key word is retail price. These D-Riders will go out their way to buy it, even if they have to get it from a reseller for 10x the price. I don't give a f how rare the shoe is supposed to be. The shoe to me will always be as rare as me paying off a Chinese kid in a factory to make me a pair for their $1 salary a year. It's also not just shoes. Any clothes he releases get sold out the same way instantly. Let's look at an example right Oh my god. I want you to go ahead that and guess the price like, they're reselling this shirt horrible. for. I'll give you five seconds. Okay, I'll lie, I'm not giving you five seconds. If you didn't say $207, you'd be wrong. $207 for a semi-blackface demonic shirt what? has got to be some sort of scam. Even buying this at retail price would be a scam. The whole Travis what? Scott meal thing also showed me how many d there were. People were going to their local McDonald's with underpaid, stressed-out workers and going... <laughs> okay, guys, shut up, shut up. You know what I'm here for. I truly felt bad for those workers after a month of having to deal with this. I don't remember the exact date and month this happened, but I feel like we should what pay reparations to those. Uh, to this day, there's people what still with the paper bag they got the food with. People oh, who man. stole the posters from McDonald's and are reselling it. There's even a dude who put the meat bag they got the food with. People who stole the posters from McDonald's. It was a burger with bacon, fries, and a drink. Straight up. 
funnels and are reselling it. There's even a dude who put the meal on a display case and it's still sitting there. It's been four years, my- It's more sad to me that the food doesn't look like it's mold. Like, like I thought McDonald's used fresh ingredients that totally are chemically altered. I guess I can't trust McDonald's for my healthy diet. After the whole Travis Scott Astroworld tragedy, I'm still surprised there's people that'll go to a Travis Scott concert and specifically be put in the mosh pits. You can attend the concert all you want, go ahead, but you're gonna choose to be in the deepest pits of it? Being in a Travis Scott mosh pit has to be like what it felt like to be in the World War II trenches. Me personally, the only way I'm going to a Travis Scott concert is if I have five feet of space from everyone else. I'd rather camp out the stadium and hear the music like that than risk getting Astro World at 2 point. So yeah, we're gonna end it right there. Oh, I didn't know these people was robbing him like that, I guess. Um, but yeah, the meat riding is just at an all-time high these days. <laughs> But you know, whatever. If that's how you want to spend your time, that's what you want to do. And the the, the kicker is, a lot of people meet ride for free. You know, you you not getting paid at all, and you up here typing away defending your beloved Drake. Do you? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.